Okay, so today I wanted to talk about uh, an issue that happens with aging. Um, there's a condition that, that's called sarcopenia. Uh, now, sarcopenia uh, basically means muscle loss. Um, uh, the, um, uh, there's also another uh, condition called dinopenia, um, and dinopenia is about strength loss. Um, in practical terms, uh, when you lose muscle, you lose strength at the same time. So in general, we just use sarcopenia in medicine. Um, now, um, sarcopenia, uh, you can notice if you ever see somebody who's, uh, say, uh, 80 plus years of age and they're walking real slowly, uh, somebody who is older and has trouble getting out of the chair, uh, somebody who has trouble going up the stairs. Um, um, and this all occurs because uh, when you get older, um, you uh, lose um, uh, muscle mass. Uh, now, uh, the thing is that uh, getting older, um, uh, you're probably thinking, oh, well, somebody who's like 70 or 80 years of age. But actually, the sarcopenia starts happening after age 30. Um, and uh, I mentioned before that uh, one of the reasons that um, athletes um, don't uh, um, uh, continue um, uh, in their sport after about the age 35 is because of this uh, muscle loss. Even though it just starts happening at about age 30, um, you know, between uh, 30 and 40, uh, you can lose uh, just enough muscle to make it difficult to re for you to perform at a high uh, level. Um, so for the professional athlete or the Olympic athletes, um, uh, doing their sport uh, um, uh, later in uh, midlife uh, uh, becomes a uh, uh, just impossible because they just have lost a step. Um, uh, again, um, uh, I mentioned uh, in a different video about how Michael Jordan at the end of his career um, uh, was playing from the floor. He just didn't have the strength and elasticity in his legs to be able to jump anymore. And so he was kind of flat footed on the floor. Um, and that's, again, from the uh, loss of muscle tissue. Um, uh, now most people don't even know this is happening. Uh, you lose about 1% uh, muscle mass per year um, as you're going forward. Um, so that's just a small amount. And for most people, um, uh, really just, just don't notice it. But after age 60, um, it becomes a lot more noticeable. After age 65, it becomes really obvious, um, and it becomes progressive. Um, uh, I can tell you with my story that I used to run marathons when I was younger. When I was in my 50s, I started noticing that I was uh, going slower uh, when I was doing the marathon. And I figured, well, I'm just not training good enough. So I started pushing my training to see if I could speed up my my uh, marathon time. Um, after I got to age 60, it, was, it uh, became obvious that it had nothing to do with my training. It was just the fact that I was getting older. Um, and then um, sometime around that time, I just decided that I wasn't gonna do any more marathons. Um, uh, it was too hard to continue the training. I was getting so slow that I was having a difficult time um, uh, beating the finishing time requirements. Um, and so I just basically decided uh, uh, that's it for me. Um, I'm not gonna do marathons anymore. I tried to do half marathons, but I kind of aged out of that also. Um, so at this point I do the occasional fun run or 5K, and that's about the best that I can do at this age. Um, one thing that can help with uh, sarcopenia is weight training. Um, by doing uh, resistance training or weight training, uh, you can build up muscle and kind of fight this loss of uh, muscle mass. You can't do that, you know, 100%, but you can, you can uh, work at it. 
um, there is a famous video on um, uh, the internet of an MRI of, uh, uh, of uh, uh, different people. They have the MRI of a 20-year-old, a 65-year-old, and a 65-year-old athlete. Uh, the 20-year-old uh, thigh muscle, it looks absolutely perfect. Um, uh, hardly any fat or anything, it's just all muscle. The 65-year-old um, has about 75% uh, um, uh, fat and only 25% muscle. Um, uh, the 65-year-old uh, um, athlete was 50-50, 50% muscle, 50% uh, uh, fat. So uh, basically the uh, loss of muscle allows uh, more fat to be accumulated. Um, and so uh, somebody who's older tends to have a higher fat content in their body than somebody who's younger. Um, and that's why you don't see a lot of 65 year olds with um, six pack abs. Um, uh, the, uh, uh, there are some supplements that can be helpful. Uh, creatine is one of the supplements that are supposed to be helpful. A uh, high protein diet is also helpful. Um, but again, it's only to a point because uh, you can't fight the uh, mother nature uh, aging process. Um, eventually it'll catch up with you. All you can do is try to stay in shape to make it easier so that um, uh, you can get out of the chair, get up those stairs and do the things that you wanna do. Okay, thanks people. Um, have, have, have a good day.